Hey, Dr. Thayer here, I'm with Andrew. Andrew just flew down from Washington State. He's here for brain fog. Friends are messing with him, kind of yanked on his shoulder a little, flipped around, and kind of fell on his stomach. He thought he shook it off, but ever since then, that was the day. Woke up the next morning, terrible neck pain and terrible brain fog. So, uh, Andrew, why don't you tell us why you're here, sir? Yeah, so uh, basically fell, like you said. Um, wasn't nothing big that I noticed, but the next couple days after that, just the brain fog, neck pain, um, a little blurred vision, and all kinds of little aches and stuff like that. But uh, pretty bad pain, too. Yeah. I mean, he said it was like a, what? He said it was like a 10 out of 10 at times. Yep. It was oh, really yeah. severe. So this brain fog, how bad is it? Tell us how bad it gets. Um, it kind of feels kind of like you're just in a real deep fog. Like, basically, I put it like you drink a little bit of alcohol, you get kind of like a little buzz. That's how you feel. Okay. But not in a good way. I was going to say. Don't, you don't feel like that. You don't feel, you don't feel like, oh, let's go out. Let's go. <laughs> I told my dad that. And he goes, oh, man, that's that's good. That's I said, no, good. it's not good. So he's not here for his neck pain, guys. If it was just neck pain, no. You wouldn't be paying the way to come down. No, I wouldn't care. Exactly. But he is having trouble with his business, with his life, because it's just relationships, everything's freaking off. It's mm -hmm. just off. And life is not worth living, kind of, right? Yep. So tell us about your sleep, Tim. How's the sleep been going? Sleep's bad. Sleep how long? Since the fall, right? Yeah, it's real bad. Okay, anxiety's up, depression's up. Uh -huh. Again, all those things that he thought was all in his head before that. Other people, who if he saw something on TV, he goes, I don't sleep very well, I have some anxiety. He'd be like, bitch, yeah. come on, suck it up. I'm leaving that. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And so, okay, so vertigo multiple times a week. He says everything's a little bit better. He's seen five chiropractors. And I told him, I go, probably the chiropractor somehow helped you a tiny bit. He says he was every day before, everything was much worse before, and it's a tiny bit better. But he's pissed because the brain fog is still there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, breathing bit problems, taking deep breaths, mm -hmm. some blurry vision, just like our last JP one, and uh, anything else. Low back pain, that's history of low back pain. Yeah, but if you're in the Northwest, look him up, uh, does the asphalt work in the summer. Yep. <laughs> Mesa asphalt products. Mesa asphalt products, I like. Yeah, get a, get a plug in there. Look at the floor. How about that in your neck? Yeah, probably like a five, six. Five, six of the ceiling, please. How about that? Yeah, same. Same? X-rays uh, don't look horrible, actually. We're gonna go over the x-rays together. Okay. Reverse curve, but not horrible curve. Mid-cervical reverse curve, which is not the worst in the world. Um, uh, back is not that off. Balance is off a little bit. I mean, all the basic stuff, but not horrible. Osteophyte in the back of his head, not as bad as JP's, but bad. Uh, again, all fixable. It just needs the proper adjustment and you're gonna feel that in a minute, okay? We have 13 millimeter right imbalance, left TMJ, seven to nine degree curve. Here we have eight millimeter left rotated pelvis, appendix staple, seven millimeter short right leg. Significant mid neck reversal, one third atlas wear, and a big noggin on the back of his head, hyperlordosis, and constipation here. Okay. Good, nice. How was that, sir? Oof, that was a good. That was good? Yeah. Worth the price of admission? Oh, yeah. How was that different than the other adjustments you've had? Mmm. Well, that's some intense stuff right there. Good. So you actually feel something moving, huh? Oh, something. A lot of stuff's moving. Good, I love it. Okay, this way. I like to help my patients up after the first adjustment so they don't do anything to undo my work. But of course, I'm telling them, do not twist and turn or you will undo my work. <laughs> Let's see how he's doing. Things seem like a little more clear. Cool. Yeah. Okay. As all of you know, we're recalibrating here, so I thought I'd fast forward, let you guys see him run. Let's see how he's doing. I feel kind of more uh, straight, like my posture and whatnot. Gotcha. Uh, like I said, a little more clear. I noticed kind of when I was laying there, I opened my eyes and it was kind of... Foggy? Not, not blurry? Not, not, not blurry or nothing, just kind of like more. I don't know, it's kind of clear. Okay, cool. Yeah. Move the floor, please. That was a five or six. Look at that shit. Look at me. What the hell? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Feels different. That's like a, that's a zero. Yeah. And that was, that's that's what you came here for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> now, 
that huh is a huh of disbelief. <laughs> and he, he wants to he wants to be like, dude, you didn't do shit for me. Give my money back. I wanted to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't want that, but yeah, I was. But you were getting you were ready. In my for head, it. but that's yeah. crazy. See, look how much nicer he is to me now. Before he was like doing this all front and thing. Like, now look at his back and shit. So how does this measure up to all the other adjustments, the thousands and thousands of dollars you spent already? Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it, like I can move my neck, like it's not stiff, don't hurt. Before, no. With all the adjustments I've had, it, I'd leave and it would hurt. Sometimes it would hurt worse. Oh, well, that's why you're so impressed because you're like, it usually hurts worse when they leave. Yeah, or just still hurts, you know? So that's, you know, yeah, yeah. you hear about it. I watch your videos. <laughs> So it's one of those things where I'm like, well, let me, you know, yeah. but no, yeah, this, that's a hundred, that's night day right there. Yeah. Went back to the room, laid down and just like my lower back felt like it, it like just released like pressure. I'd say kind of like that felt good. And then it just kind of just crept up through the rest of my, like just upper back, my spine. Yeah. What is that? What is that different? How is that different than ever before? I mean, I, have you ever had that release, like re completely mm, relaxed feeling in your spine? No, it just feels like it's just really relaxed and feels really good. Brain fog, he says it's a tiny bit better too. How where are we at percentage wise in that? Yeah, probably like at 30, 40. Wow. Tim? Ooh, yeah, much better than this morning, actually. Oh. Yeah, you feel that sledgehammer, dude? <laughs> oh. Ooh. I mean, look small, but I got big hands, dude. Oof. <laughs> that was, he, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was really good. Good, nice. Right after the adjustment, right when I walked out that door, I just felt good. Yeah. It felt, felt good. Yeah. I want you guys to reverse back to the original video and see how, how shitty he dressed before because <laughs> I think so, same shot is, it's close. But he is so, Mac Daddy so cow. Man. So cow lover now. That guy was Washington dirt before, and now he's race. so cow, yeah. <laughs> so cow out, man. Man, look at you, polo shit. Did they wear that shit up north? Hell no. Exactly. We got hoodies. Hoodies. Big raincoats, umbrellas. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? You know, not only the lights got on in his head, he's feeling great, <laughs> but he's like, fuck it, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna start looking good. Hell yeah. Yeah, right on. Brain fog's a lot better. I didn't get the, the best sleep last night. Okay, but I mean, brain fog. We were, yesterday we were at 30%, I think, yesterday you said. When I left, I mean, shit. I mean, I don't know. Just I give don't. it just a roundabout. You go, go low end, whatever, what low end? Low end, probably like 90, 80. Oh, that much better. When I left, I just felt good, like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Every time, you know, walking around, sitting down, I'm always tensed up, you know, my body's always tense, but just to relax, it's, it's been helping out. And when you relax, what happens? like all the little aches and all that go away. Gotcha. Stuck in my old ways, you know what I mean? Just walking with my chest out, um, just body tense all the time. So You're I'm married, dude. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's You know what I mean? Don't front out here. So I'm Southern California. Man, you gotta walk with your chest out out here, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I almost do it. <laughs> You're funny. So I'm just right. bit tensed up and all that. <laughs> okay, so this is why, right now I'm pushing the shoulders down because we talk about shoulders here all the time. And so by having the shoulders in the right position, it really takes pressure off the brainstem, which takes pressure off the mind, balances the body so much more. And when I let go of this, I want you to tell me and tell them how it feels. Oh, shit. A lot more pressure now, like in my head. Pressure in your head? Yeah. So that pressure, he shouldn't have felt that, but that pressure is again telling me how much he screws his own shoulders up because He's feeling residual pressure here because he has actually memory, muscle memory in his muscles we have to undo. And this is why it's so hard for him to not put his chest out because he likes to walk a certain way because it relieves his pressure. But he have to learn something new to get him better, okay? So just relax here. Okay, just let this relax, drop to the right. Good. A little different adjustment, right? Oh yeah. Okay. One more over here. Beautiful.
Beautiful. How is that different than the other adjustments? How does that feel different? It feels like you're popping a lot more. Pop a lot more? Yeah, cool.